Hi, my name is Chris Schumacher. I'm a senior software engineer at ICRCO, and I'll be giving a brief description of the advanced tools in Clarity. The advanced tools can be found in the upper left-hand corner of any image, and let's start with the horizontal tool. We use this by a single click to drop the horizontal line, and that draws to the opposite side of the screen. And we can move this around and we can change the length, but it stays horizontal. We can do the same with vertical lines, with the vertical line tool. We can use the parallel lines tool to create two parallel lines and a measure between them. We have a tool to measure the alignment of adjacent vertebrae. To use this, we drag a line across the top of the lower vertebrae and then adjust to where it lines up to the one above it. And we can drag out several of these fairly quickly. And we can also uh, use this tool if it goes off the back end or if it goes off the front end. We can measure that as well. We have a tool for measuring the pelvic incidence and a couple other angles. We use this by dragging a line across the top of the sacrum and then dropping a point at the center of the femur head and that creates three angles. The one on top is the sacral slope, the one in the middle is the pelvic incidence, and the one on bottom is the pelvic tilt. We have an annotation for quickly determining the distance from a vertical line. We use this by single click to drop the vertical line then single click to get the offset from that vertical line. We have the same thing for a horizontal line. We can drop the horizontal line and then get the distance. We have a tool for determining the angle between two lines. Drag out the two lines and then place the angle in the quadrant that you're interested in. The lines do not have to intersect. We can move this down here, for instance, and still move the angle where we want it. In the advanced tools, we have a button for the advanced tool set. These buttons allow you to change the color and the line length for these tools. Let's start with the fixed length line. If we want a line of six inches, we can just drag this out and it will snap to six inches. If we want one that's one inch, we can get that as well. The horizontal offset line is a tool that will give you the vertical distance between two points. So that's this distance right here. And that second line in the measure is always placed above the lower point. Once we have lines, we want a way to easily create parallel and perpendicular lines to our existing lines. This is the parallel line tool. We choose the line that we want as a reference, and then with a single click, we can drop several lines that are parallel to our reference line. If we click to change our reference line, the parallel lines will reflect that. We can do the same with perpendicular lines. 
with this reference we have these perpendicular lines with this reference we have these perpendicular lines you can create parallel and perpendicular lines from any annotation that's composed of lines so if we have an angle and we want to create a line parallel to one of these segments we can just choose the segment and drop some parallel lines we can create a line segment that is collinear to an existing line with the cut line tool we choose our reference line then we can just drag where we want to place the segment we can change the length but it will always remain collinear to where we originally place it with the parallel lines we can change their length and their position but we can't change their slope they stay fixed the point tool allows you to drop points with a single click and the measure distance tool allows you to compute the distance between any two points uh, a line in a point or two lines if they're parallel so we can determine the distance between these two points for instance between these two lines because they are indeed parallel we created them that way or a point and a line and we see that it generated the perpendicular distance to this line we can also generate distances to segments so if we have an angle and we want to know the distance between this point and one of these segments we can do that as well these measurements are dynamic so as we change the positions of the objects that we're measuring the corresponding distances will change as well we have a spine labeling tool that allows you to determine your starting region and direction you activate this tool with a click and then you place the labels with a single click or you can drag to place an arrow you can also use the mouse wheel to change your labels you can click an existing label to turn off spine labeling the advanced tool set has an automatic button that allows you to do a full pelvic markup in about 20 seconds it changes the tools automatically for you and tells you what to do on each step so let's just follow along we can see that it placed several measurements automatically these measurements are dynamic so as we change what's being measured we can see how it's reflected in these final measurements